Well, morning. Here we are. Friday, October 7th, 2022. My name's Larissa. Hey, Brody. How are you, buddy? Oh, look at this. Look at this handsome boy. How are you? Oh, you looking at Mama's book? Hi. No, you sneaky booby licker. Brody. Sneaky booby licker. You sneaky booby licker. I'm going to go over there now. He's a sneaky booby licker. He got up here just to lick my boobies. Oh. Oh. So... Yesterday, got out and got me some cardio, the roller skates and stuff. And today, my foot's okay, but I've been having intermittent numbness in my in my leg, my one leg. So, the story about this family that was taken hostage and murdered. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. You see, they have somebody in custody for that. Down there in Vegas. Down there in Vegas, some, they, some guy, some nut went out with a knife. See... I don't own a gun. I've never owned a gun. I don't want to own a gun. Right? I don't want to. But I want that choice. And honestly, passing laws to ban guns of any kind, of any kind, is not going to keep guns out of hands of people who want to use them for ill will. It's not. All it does is creates an environment where the government can oppress somebody that they don't want to have a gun because the government fears that person, right? Or that person's ideolo uh, ideology. I can tea. So right now my blend has peppermint and ginger and chamomile and roses and rosebuds and borage flowers and um, burdock root and hibiscus. No, there's no hibiscus in this one. Hib I have hibiscus in my, in my, uh, iced tea that I have during the day that does not have cannabis in it, the sun tea. Oh, and there's Girl Scout cookies. That's the, that's the strain that I have in this. Oh, felt good. Get that to pop. My Atlas and my Axis, the first two vertebra, the two that are up inside the, or the that are up inside the skull. That is where I have impingement from those car accidents. I don't know why I'm alive. I don't, I don't know why I'm alive. There seems to be no good reason for me to be alive. I don't know why. Oh. Like, I can't be a cat because I have lived more than I've had I've had more than than my nine lives here, right? <laughs> oh. Back to that story. It's terrible. So, yeah, some the guy down there in Vegas, knife cutting people up, what are they going to do? Come take away everybody's kitchen knives? Hmm? Hmm? Can't have that kind of knife. All right.
people who want to kill somebody will kill somebody. Whether they have guns or not. So, people here on the West Coast, what are you going to do when the Russians invade? Hmm? What are you going to do? When you have to rely on gangsters. That's what it will come down to. So I saw that there's a submarine, a nuclear submarine, one of Russia's nuclear submarines has gone off of the map. So governments, they keep track of everybody's, everybody like has an idea of where people's warheads and stuff are, right? You might not know about everything, but the stuff that you know, they, they keep track on all that stuff. And so there, there's this Russian nuclear sub that has gone missing, right? Meaning that nobody knows where it is now. Strategically speaking, putting myself in the shoes of the poutine. If I were going to take out any um, port on the West Coast, I would hit Oakland before San Diego. This is why infrastructure in Oakland is far weaker than it is in San Diego, right? And you have big military base down there in San Diego, right? So it'd be a harder getaway, right? Maximum, maximum, maximum uh, uh, impact if you hit, if you hit Oak, the port of Oakland first, right? Because Alameda Island is a crumbling trash heap, literally. And infrastructure in Oakland is shitty, right? So I'm not impressed with the military uh, um, prowess of the current administration, or the last one for that matter. Putting myself in the mind of the poutine, I would hit I would hit Oakland and invade Alaska. Right? As a as a patriot of this of this country. I, I feel it's my responsibility to think about these things, right? And I have to question, are our elected officials putting themselves in the position of the poutine? Hmm? Andrew Jackson bought Alaska from Russia. Bought it. And there's this thing I saw going on in Dearborn, Michigan. I wonder if they got that guy, what the deal was, that they had family members there. So Dearborn, Michigan, a lot of automotive manufacturer history there in that area. And it has had um, severe tension, social tension, um, political tension for decades. So the Dearborn area has, or had at least in the late 90s, early 2000s, the largest population of ethnic Iraqi people, meaning di from different ethnic groups, but ethnic Iraqis, outside of Baghdad. Right? And the, the, the tensions between Chaldeans and some of the other groups, like Chaldean gangs were a very, were, were a very real thing. And the, 
they had there had to be because there was there were tensions between the, the Christian, the Chaldean groups, and the Islamic groups. And it'd be interesting. I, I don't know, you know, I haven't lived in Michigan for 20 years, 20 plus years now. But um it would be interesting to look at which ethnic groups have settled there, particularly in light of, you know, what I observed in Oakland, um, the influx of, of, of immigrants from Middle Eastern countries, or I don't say Middle Eastern countries, I was just from Afghanistan and Iraq and, you know, because there were a lot of, 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 you know, saw women in the full burqa, black, black hijab, black burqa, walking down the street behind men in Oakland, right? That's fundamentalist. That's fundamentalist Islam. And so, so I'd like to know a little more about what's going on with that thing in Dearborn. What is that about? Right? What is that about? Who, who is it? Because they haven't released any names. be very interesting to know right and I was watching um, some live news stream chat yesterday and they're talking about how oh there's this and this and this and this and all these things America must be so violent and the United States is a very very large country right and a lot of people I think just don't have a, an, an appreciation for that or it's like not an intrinsic knowing because most countries are so much smaller. You know, Australia is a very large country. China is a very large country. India is a very large country. Um, and the United States is a very large country geographically. But the majority of countries on this planet are not. Russia is a very large country. The majority of countries are not. The majority of countries on this planet are the size of our states. And so when you say that they're, oh, the, the United States is so violent. I don't think it's that the United States is any more or less violent than any other place, right? And now we have access to all of this stuff in real time, right? So is it that there are more of these violent stories or is it just that we get to hear about them? Right? Is it just that we get to hear about them? And are they being publicized to promote political agenda, specifically um, repeal, re trying the attempts to repeal the Second Amendment? And who does that really benefit? Right? It benefits the government, it doesn't benefit the people. It benefits the government. It doesn't benefit the people. And what do you do then in the face of an invasion? Right? What do you do? You have a population that then is unarmed against an armed invader. particularly then when you have laws that prevent the forced quartering of soldiers in private homes. That's not talking about invading army. That's talking about American army. Right? It must be very, very difficult to have a young son these days. People who have sons between the ages of 15 and 25. All of the... Um, miscarriages and things I've had. Had any of those... Had those, had those come to... Uh, uh, a birth would have had twins that were 22 now turning 22 this month October 2nd is when that was my due date um, would have had another one uh, let's see I 
was two months in April, so that have been. I had that miscarriage in that that April that. I've had like three miscarriages in April. April fools, Larissa. That's that's God's joke on me, haha. -ha. Except that, um, I'd have two at twenty two, two that were twenty two, one that was fifteen, and one that was twelve. Mm -hmm. And those are just the pregnancies that I know about that I had where I had miscarriages. You know, this one in seven pregnancies ends in miscarriage. That's a lot. That's a high. That's high. And that's like, you know, just natural. So. Who knows? But I'm really glad I don't have any kids, particularly sons right now. And I say that because only boys can be drafted. Mm. Constellation of philosophy is really good, isn't it? If you've been following that. I'm not going to read today. Mm -mm. Oh, Brody just farted. It's gross. Brody. He's wiggling his butt at me. Brody, that's stinky. Brody, that's stinky. Did you fart? Did you fart, Brody? Brody. Did you make stinkies with your bum? Did you? Did you make it stinky? Brody. He wags his tail every time I take the camera off of it. Because he's a stinker. He is. He's a real stinker. Brody. Brody, is the government going to draft you? Are you going to get drafted? No. My dog. Ooh. Pumpkins. I need to get pumpkins. I'm not going to get as many pumpkins as I got last year for decoration because I still have canned pumpkin from la from last year. I just want to get, I want to get some small pumpkins and some gourds to decorate for fall. Seems really trite, doesn't it? Seems really trite. Be thinking in the same, in the same span of 18 minutes about Russian invasion, nuclear warheads, and getting pumpkins. But that's where I'm at today. That's where I'm at today.